forecasters are predicting this weekend as this weekend we'll see Siberian winds bring sub-zero conditions to London and the southeast. The polar air nicknamed the Beast from the East could make it the coldest late February in five years. As we all reach for another layer, households are being urged to take extra care of water pipes to prevent births and other disasters during the cold snap. Ian Puddick is from the Chartered Institute of Plumbing and Heating Engineering and joins me now. And he's also from the London Boiler Company. Now, Ian, one of the typical types of problems you see at this time of year? Freezing pipes. Um, and, and freezing pipes are not the issue. It's the damage caused by freezing pipes. Um, obviously, thousands and thousands of pounds worth of damage. So that is obviously the, the, the big issue. And what are the causes? Where does it all start from? Loads of things, really. Uh, we all live busy lives. Um, let's be frank, who's thinking of their plumbing? They go <laughs> off to work and do whatever they're doing. No one sits there and thinks, oh, is my plumbing OK? So, so really, um, in, from, a, from a practical sense, um, sometimes lack of maintenance, uh, lack of thought, um, and, and really some really simple measures or practical measures can save so much time and, more importantly, lots of money and damage. And are there typical areas where pipes do tend to freeze or burst or have issues? Yeah, obviously, um, in, in colder spots. So um, if you think about it logically, in a, in a domestic home, uh, pipes in the loft, um, are the pipes lagged? Well, they may look or they may appear to be lagged, but more importantly, are they lagged appropriately? Uh, are they fully covered? Um, if there's water tanks uh, in, in, in lofts, um, is, is the water tank uh, properly lagged? Um, again, uh, a lot of water, um, a broken pipe, a, a, a broken tank. We're talking water world without Kevin Costner. So <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of damage. Um, so there's some really simple, practical things you can do. If, if the lagging is poor, and you know, here we are in the middle of a blitz, it's really, really cold and it's going to get colder, um, leave the, uh, the hatch the hatch door going into the loft open slightly. If there is some lagging in the loft and it's quite poor and you've got a big water tank, remove some of the lagging from underneath the tank to allow some of the heat from the property to try and just take that temperature, just, just to increase the temperature in the loft space so that you can reduce the risk of obviously having a frozen pipe. Now, if you're somebody who's going away for a few days, I know that can also be an issue, what do you do? What's the advice? Well, the, 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 sim the simple thing is, and we, I say this to everybody, um, try and find out where your stopcock is. It's not something you would touch. It's not something you would ordinarily think of. Uh, but in an emergency, it's the first thing you're going to need to do is go and shut the water off. So firstly, find out where your stopcock is. And secondly, um, get it checked. Um, invest. Don't see it as a cost. See it as an investment. Pay a professional to check and make sure that it actually works. Because there's nothing worse than, obviously, broken pipes, frozen pipes, bursts, and you can't shut the water off. Is there a simple um, way of figuring out where it is if you don't know? Um, it, is, it, is, it is a matter of just, I'm going to say, say common sense, but sometimes with the, with the old plumbing in London, it doesn't quite work like what, it, you know, common sense goes out the window, I'm afraid. Uh, but yeah, invest in a professional to find out where it is if you can't find it yourself. Um, and then more importantly, make sure that it works. And if it doesn't work, invest in changing it, making sure that you can shut the water off. And as you rightly said, if you are going away, shut the water off, keep your, te keep your heating on, um, at at even if it's not on all the time, but just for short bursts at a low temperature, just to keep the temperature above, obviously stop that, put those pipes freezing. Well, Ian from the London Boiler Company and the Charlton Institute of Plumbing and Heating Engineering, good advice there. Thank you very much. Pleasure.